So last time we were looking at trying to cut the apron strings from that snow plough or wedge and completing a turn in a parallel position. You're going to find it much more comfortable on the legs and the whole experience much more enjoyable. This time we're looking at three things, control issues and looking at the shape of the turn to make life a bit easier and then using the ski and the edge to feel a bit more bite and control and finally line choice. Now we're looking at skiing around the mountain, making it easy for yourself and looking ahead. The first thing we're going to look at is the shape of your turns. Very simply, if you look back at the tracks that you've left, you want to be seeing a smooth S shape and not this Z shape. The chances are, if you're feeling it hard to control your speed, you're chucking the skis around the corner and then running off in a straight line towards the next one and then doing that same movement. We want to replace that with a nice, smooth, gradual S. If you watch here, the turn is rushed. I'm doing the whole turn in one very fast, erratic movement, then I pick up speed between my turns. What we want to achieve is a round, link turn which keeps my speed constant and in control. You're always going to speed up when you start the turn and point the skis down the hill. You can't change that. But what you can change is how fast you're going before you do that and feel that you're going to push a nice gradual break and then start that next turn, feeling a lot calmer, less stress and happier about life. So I'm going to start to slide. But from here, I'm gradually turning up the hill. Now I feel control, I can start my next turn and start turning up that hill in the next way. Let's try it the other way. I'm sliding in nice and smooth and then turning uphill nice and gently. Now I feel control, I can go into that next turn and start turning uphill and feeling the brake coming on smooth. Make sure you're happy with your speed before you start your turn. That way you'll be less likely to slam on the brake to slow down. Remember, the control comes at the end of the turn, not the beginning. You would have noticed there, my upper body's nice and calm. And if you've got any of these rotation issues and trying to force it, that's often a symptom of going too fast into your turn. Remember, you're always going to speed up when you start the turn, but if you control it beforehand, the chances are you'll be much smoother. Watch my upper body here. There's no unnecessary movements. I'm not throwing my shoulders round. Instead, I'm controlling my speed at the end of the turn and preparing for the next. Because I'm in control, I don't need to rush the turn to slow down. I can just keep a smooth round turn shape. We're going to break the turn down into two. Firstly, point them down the hill, let them come round, and then we're going to start to turn gradually uphill. Make it a smooth break, not a sharp one. Have a watch. Part one, I point the skis downhill. Part two, I turn the skis uphill. Prepare for the turn, control your speed. Prepare for the turn, control your speed. Separating the turn into two will help you avoid turning the skis too quickly at the start. 